Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. My book, Adhesion Science Principles and Practice, is linked to a large series of apps on my Practical Adhesion website. In this video, we look at an app showing that the simple peel test is anything but simple. We all know what a peel test is. You just pull it up and it peels apart. And you can do it at 90 degrees or you can do it at 180 degrees. It's really simple. But adhesion is a property of the system, and the peel system is anything but simple. So we'll go down to this graphic of the peel system. And what I'm doing is a 90 degree pull with a force of 100 newtons per meter. And I've got 26 microns of adhesive there. I've got a 50 micron carrier film. The modulus of the carrier is 4 gigapascals. This is something like PET. And the adhesive with a modulus of about 3 megapascals. Zero is the point where I'm peeling, and minus is ahead of the peel front. So I'm peeling up here, and these are the tensile forces. So I actually have a tensile force of 4 megapascals at this point. So ahead of the peel front the tensile stress goes down. No surprise there. It actually goes down to zero. No surprise there. It then goes negative. What does that mean? What's a negative tensile stress? Well that's actually a push, a compression. So when you are pulling upwards with the peel you're actually compressing ahead of the peel front. And this isn't a few microns, this scale is millimetres. So about half a millimetre ahead of the peel front, you're actually giving a big compression to the adhesive. In fact, if there's any slight missing of the adhesive, this compression will force it into good contact. So you're increasing adhesion by pulling something apart. And this extends to about a millimetre ahead. This isn't some academic nicety. These forces can be really measured in real peel. So, already we know it's complicated. So what happens if I keep the same adhesive but change the carrier thickness? Well, all these forces change. What happens if I change the adhesive thickness? Well, all these forces change. So the force involved in the peel does not just depend on the adhesive, it depends on the carrier and the thickness and everything else. And if I change the peel angle, then uh, what had been a boring straight line before is now the shear stress. Now these shear stresses are very small. Why are they so small? It's because when I'm pulling in shear, it's all being dissipated over millimetres, whereas the peel is being dissipated over just one millimetre. So there's a stress intensity in peel which is completely lacking in shear, which is why things tend to fail more in peel than in shear. Going back to 90 degrees, there we go just so we can concentrate on the tensile force. Let's be really clever and let's make a really strong adhesive. So let's increase its modulus. This is actually a disaster. So we're now up to a gigapascal. And the shear stress is now 15 megapascals. Why? Because we've now focused it all just over 0.1 of a millimeter. So when you have a strong adhesive, which seems a good idea, you actually focus the forces on a much smaller distance and therefore you make it more likely that it'll fail rather than less likely. So a nice weak adhesive, typical 2 to 3 megapascals, is actually much stronger because the forces are dissipated over a much larger distance. So again, adhesion is a property of the system, and something as simple as peel is definitely not simple. 